Welcome to King of the Hill, Tier Matches. This video will introduce you to stages and schedule, rank rules, and reward rules for the tier matches. To sign up, you must be in the top 21 alliances for power and signed up for Legion 1. Legion 2 can only play in regular matches. The tier matches are held in seasons with 3 rounds each. Every round consists of 2 matches, group and qualifying matches. Group matches have 9 alliances of the same tier competing in one battle zone where divisions of three alliances compete against each other. Qualifying matches are based on the results of the group matches. The three champion alliances face off in the upper bracket. The three first runner-up alliances face off in the middle bracket. The three second runner-up alliances face off in the lower bracket. A season consists of three rounds, with the tier at the end of the season being the final tier. Like regular matches, tier matches take place once every two weeks. Week 1 hosts the group matches of the round 1. Week 3 hosts the qualifying matches of the round 1. Week 5 hosts the group matches of the round 2. Week 7 hosts the qualifying matches of the round 2. Week 9 hosts the group matches of the round 3. Week 11 hosts the qualifying matches of the round 3. Group matches and qualifying matches follow the same stage schedule as regular matches. Monday and Tuesday are the preview stage. Wednesday and Thursday are the registration stage. Friday and Saturday are the matching stage. Sunday is the battle stage. The duration for each battle is still one hour. For the first season of tier matches, Initial tiers are determined based on alliance power. Then participants are matched against someone within the same tier for every round thereafter. If there aren't enough alliances in a tier, replacements are randomly selected from the tier below and given one star instantly. Tier stars are given out to participating alliances based on matching results when calculating the tier after every round. Note, the better the battle history, the more stars awarded. Your seasonal tier rolls over from season to season and does not get reset. Tier rewards are categorized as round rewards and seasonal tier rewards. After each round of the qualifying matches ends, round rewards are issued based on the tier before the battle and the match results. Only players who participated in qualifying matches are eligible for round rewards. After a season is over, Seasonal tier rewards are issued based on the final tier to players who played in at least one match for an alliance.